Welcome back to Landscaping. I arrived here at the shop this morning in the 2020 Ford Super Duty. We have a big landscape project ahead of us. There's two parts to it which include building gravel pad for a windmill and building a small pond with a water fountain. All of the equipment is loaded up and ready to go. Let's head into the office, grab the keys and a few other things and head on out. Now I did have the local supplier drop off all the needed materials. We have one ton worth of gravel, a pallet of pavers. We also do have about 20 stones and also the windmill ready to go at the job site. I just grabbed the keys here to the truck. And look at that. Today we will be using the 2004 F350 along with the low trail trailer and the cat backhoe. When we do use this backhoe, we do use it quite a lot. We'll be using it not only to move the windmill, but to move some gravel and dirt. And we'll be uh, digging down probably three to four feet for the pond. Let's get the garage door opened up and head on out. I'm definitely excited to be back here with the landscaping company. There's just a lot of projects we'll be doing coming up. Now I was thinking it might be easier just to drive the cat backhoe over to the job site just by itself and that is legal here in town so let me know if you guys would like me to do that in some upcoming videos. That might save us a bit of time since we don't have to load it up on the trailer, strap it all down and I have to unstrap it at the job site. This will be a pretty good workout here for the F-350. I do have some uh, tools in the back like shovels, levelers, and a few other things including uh, some buckets, but definitely excited to be back here doing a hardscape job. I hope everyone's having a great day so far. Let me know how it is down below. My day has uh, been uh, pretty good. Oh yeah, we can definitely feel it here on the back of the F-350. Lots and lots of weight, and I would prefer to take a dually, but I thought, why don't we just use this F-350, one of my favorite uh, work trucks here in the game. I really do enjoy doing these projects where there are multi-parts. That means extra money for us, and uh, we spend the entire day at uh, that one place. That's a little bit easier than moving equipment uh, job site to job site each and every day. And I do want to do some big, big projects where we have to kind of spend an entire week there working on big retaining walls, uh, foundations, things like that I really uh, want to get into. Wow, look at that, guys. They can't even park inside the driveway. There's just so many uh, things here. But let's get the uh, hazard lights going here. Let's get the ramp uh, on. Uh, folded here. I do want to take all the straps off it. Really do wish uh, we could have straps that really uh, kind of chain down uh, the backhoe. Let's hop on the inside, get it warmed up since. I haven't really uh, turned this on in a few days. We'll just get that warmed up here. Always like to idle up the engines just a little. And look, that's one ton of gravel here, about 20 stones uh, for the pond. We do have some uh, pavers for a little walkway to it and uh, the windmill here. This looks pretty cool. Look at that. Kind of looks like it came off an old farm, an old property. But wow, I would definitely like, like one of these in my backyard. Let's walk around back here and take a look. So this is where they want the pond. They want it facing uh, the uh, house. They're actually going to be putting some fish in it, some goldfish, some other fish, uh, which will be pretty neat. So we'll go here in the windmill. We'll go about uh, 7 to 8 feet from this tree right about here. So that's going to be awesome. So I think the first thing we'll do is the uh, windmill. It's quick and easy. And let's get that done and out of the way. If you guys are new here to the channel, I do ask that you please subscribe. We are growing, growing faster and faster, which is really exciting. Lots of cool content to come, and this summer will be pretty epic. Lots and lots of videos to come, and I definitely will be doing a lot more real-life videos as well. So why don't we go around back there and see if we can kind of scrape up the grass for uh, the dirt, uh, to kind of get to the dirt, and then we'll put the gravel on top. Really do like this backhoe here. When we do use it, we definitely put it to work a lot, which is awesome. So let's get switched over here. Let's put it down, going to scrape up, and we'll drive forward. Uh, I think that should be good. Let's back up here, do one more pass a little bit to the side, and then it, uh, that's pretty much it there. Now, if you do have any core ideas here for projects, drop it down below. I really do enjoy uh, giving uh, your ideas uh, for these videos. 
And look at that, we have the uh, dirt ready to go here for us. Let's go get a bucket or two of gravel, and then that uh, will uh, conclude this. Now, we'll actually use the backhoe to uh, bring the uh, windmill over here. Now, I'm thinking this is probably going to be one of the heaviest things we've actually moved uh, with the backhoe, other than uh, snow and uh, some other pallets around the shop here. But let's get a full bucket. And one thing that is a little bit trickier with the backhoe is actually uh, the control panel does not work with the backhoe because of how I have the settings set up it just does not work too well but let's see nice full bucket which is what we got awesome now these backhoes are very versatile we could use it as a front loader but also as a mini excavator but there are limitations to both and I think uh, today you guys will definitely see that when we do get to the excavating part but it's a lot easier to bring one machine and uh, one truck instead of uh, two three uh, pieces of equipment and let's get this uh, spread out nice and even uh, three four inches just strong enough there awesome so that looks to be good and let's see if we go a little bit wider now by the end of this week I will be uh, ordering my mic and might even come this week which should be awesome. I will have a full unboxing of that microphone set up and some other cool changes will be coming. I'm going to really be uh, working a lot on just improving the uh, quality of these videos. Perfect, so that's pretty much it there. Awesome gravel pad, wow. Let's hop out really quickly and take a look. So that should be good enough. Uh, we'll just kind of rake it out, stop on it, use our feet. Now I do sometimes use my feet, my uh, boots, uh, to spread around. So that looks to be good. Uh, let's get the uh, fork attached and bring that into place. I really do enjoy using the steering wheel here. It's pretty awesome, definitely a lot of fun uh, to use in farming simulator. So let's come around here so it's over there. So really, I will just drop a bucket here. That seems to be good. I think we'll probably just muscle uh, the uh, windmill onto it. I think that's going to be the easiest thing for us to do. And we got it attached here. So let's get lined up. This will be a pretty tricky thing. I will probably put a strap on it just so that it doesn't uh, slide off, uh, tip and fall. But we'll travel as close to the ground as we can. That's also a pretty good safety tip with these. Let's see if we can get it. This is always a tricky thing to do here, but I think right there seems to be good. And yeah, it looks like it should be uh, uh, able to slide on. Slide it on here. Wow, perfect. And we'll lift it up just a little bit, but not too much. There's a lot of weight on uh, the front of this. Wow, look at that. Now that's a pretty cool site, definitely would want to stop and uh, get out my phone and record a backhoe doing this. But let me know guys, uh, what types of equipment have you seen in a person in real life? I've seen backhoes, uh, skid steers, uh, zero turns, let me know and if there's any that you would want to run or uh, get to drive. Perfect, so this will be uh, put into place here, wow, looks to be good. Back up to just a little bit, put it down and we should be able to back up right up and this is always a little tricky thing that I've noticed but we should be able to get it we'll hop out here and just muscle it off and let's move the backhoe back just a little bit let's uh, kind of move it here into place it is a few thousand pounds but uh, we got it into place there we go guys the windmill is done wow that thing looks awesome throw a little bit of grass seed around the gravel and uh, that is good there so let's switch over there to the bucket and then uh, let's get going here on uh, digging up that area for the pond now those uh, pavers are to have a small walkway coming from that back uh, porch area to it which will be a pretty neat thing We'll get this dropped here and let's uh, switch over to the bucket. These landscaping projects are, are a lot of work here, but I really, really do enjoy doing them. And actually, we do have to kind of unload the bucket. That way, I think we'll probably see if we could scoop some of that dirt up uh, with the bucket. I think that would speed it up just a little bit. And uh, you always want to be as efficient as possible. So we'll do that, and then we'll uh, try to dig down with the uh, back part. I think that's going to be the most realistic thing for us to do. Yeah, I'm really going to have to see if I can work out the controls here to be a little bit better and to be more realistic. But let's see if we could, we're scraping it, we're moving, oh yeah, we're doing it guys, that is perfect. So let's see, a little bit of fun action here with this, let's see if we could just push it forward, this is always tricky.
Perfect. So there we go. I think the rest of it we'll just do with the, the uh, back buckets. We'll get uh, rotated around and awesome. So we got a nice pile there ready to go here for us. And actually, one thing I have noticed about this uh, backhoe is that the controls are reversed. That's also a little tricky as well. And uh, that is a little bit harder. But just about ramping up and over this, probably not the best thing to do. Uh, but uh, that is kind of fun as well. So let's get this right about here and right here seems to be good we'll put the stabilizers and the switch the controls look at that that is pretty sweet and let, uh, let's go in here on doing some uh, digging now I actually would prefer for it to be kind of off to the side just like this it's a little bit easier to see uh, but while the uh, controls are reversed haven't run this in quite a long time I definitely want to use it more and more perfect so let's bring it around here and uh, the best thing about these uh, back hoses, they're so uh, visible out of the uh, back. Perfect, so we are making some pretty good headway here. This is going to be a slow process, but I don't think we'll uh, have a, too much of a problem. And let's switch camera views here, guys, and see we are making a lot of progress here, which is awesome. And actually, I really do wish there was kind of just a way to disable the front controls. That would be a lot easier here for us. So I think I will just keep going at this, and then I will pick the camera up again when we are just about down uh, the three feet. And we dug down just about three feet there, and that looks to be good right about there. So let's see if we can get this back into a just regular position here and get going on moving all of those rocks. Now, once again, with those rocks, I think the easiest thing to do uh, will be to move some of those over and then kind of uh, pick up the camera again once all of those are into place. How oh, it's going to be a lot, a lot of time. Maybe have to run to the store to pick up some uh, concrete as well to kind of make sure those are good. We'll move over. Really do like that. That's just such a cool thing and we'll lift up the uh, front bucket perfect let's go get some rocks there yeah, that's going to be probably four or five trips but luckily the ground is pretty solid and we aren't leaving big tire ruts tire tracks in the uh, grass that wouldn't be a good thing for the customer right here seems to be good let's get loaded up Oh yeah, look at that, so much uh, rocks. Now these are pretty big as well, but they are uh, right field stones. They do come right out of fields. And it looks like we have to kind of fix how we uh, position this. We do need the bucket to be in full scoop mode. A little bit backed up there uh, to be a little bit easier. Perfect. Now there will be a lot more landscaping videos to come as well. I really do enjoy this series. Lots and lots of cool content. We'll be mowing every single week and just lots and lots of cool things to come. It's just going to be a pretty epic summer. I've been saying it uh, for a few months now, but it's going to be a pretty uh, cool one here. Lots of uh, fun things. Almost lost that. Almost kind of the game of uh, don't lose it uh, from the bucket. But I will get started here and bring these over and I will probably just catch you guys back once. Uh, it's kind of all built here. This will be a very long process. I just finished filling it up and here it is. So look at that guys. All the stones are in their place. This was a very long task here. I did put a little bit of concrete under each as well uh, to stop them from moving. Now the uh, customer did say uh, that they'll call us when they do want to put the fish in their place. Now the last thing we have to do is uh, actually this pile back here they said to leave. They'll kind of use it for some flower pots of theirs. But the last thing we have to do is now uh, kind of a walk away from the uh, main uh, back door here out to it so I think we'll switch over get to the uh, pallets on the forks and then we'll just kind of put them into place this job is coming together fairly quickly here for us which is awesome and we'll be able to move on to the next one and just keep these jobs coming in and out it's always great to be able to complete jobs in a single day it's a little bit easier here for us and uh, that means that uh, the more jobs we do the more profits and uh, I do tend to reinvest uh, into this company buying new trucks and things like that so that's kind of why you guys see us uh, doing so many uh, upgrade videos and those are a lot of fun as well I do plan to do a lot more of those as well now this is a little tricky to do here pretty heavy pallets uh, but we should be good to go going to slide on us just a bit and perfect so we got the pallet here and there might be a one or two left here but other than that I will get them into place we'll bring them right about here and let's get uh, to laying them 
All right, let's get to laying these uh, down here. We'll just try to have the best uh, pathway here. Now, we'll definitely have to do a little bit of touch-up work there. They actually wanted to wrap around, and that looks pretty cool. And look at that, we use all the pavers there from the pallets, and the job is now complete. We got the uh, small pond into place, that's actually where the water fountain comes from. Uh, they will be running uh, wire from the house over here for the pump to work. Uh, we got the windmill into place here, the walkway is awesome, look at that, you could kind of jump. Uh, that's actually pretty fun to do, but let's hop here in the cats, and then uh, let's bring it back here to the uh, trailer and get it loaded up. And this uh, pallet will actually kind of leave over here, but actually, I think we'll hop out here and call it a day. So hope you guys enjoyed today's landscaping project. A pretty big one here for us. Lots of small parts uh, that really needed to come together to complete it. But hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next one. And subscribe for more.